Hello, my name is Thane and I like to experiment with all kinds of AI technologies. But mostly, I like to explore different words and concepts that make Midjourney's images look different from usual. This time I have 15 styles for you that are mostly just different kinds of artistic techniques. But adding the names of these to your prompt is likely to change the look of it. Keep in mind that all that I am about to show you probably works best with shorter prompts. If you add a lot of words to your prompt, some of the words may overpower these looks. But I think the fun of it is in testing and figuring out what works and what doesn't in different situations. And this is just the first stepping stone to help you in your own prompt explorations. As usual, my prompts are very short and you can see the exact prompts along with all the images in this video. But the formula for my prompts goes like this. Name of the style, followed by a subject and followed by all kinds of mid-journey parameters. First of them is aspect ratio to change the height and width of the image to whatever I happen to require. The look of the images does change somewhat depending on which aspect ratio you use, but there can also be lots of similarities as well. My seed is set to 777 basically always. That is just my preference, because I can compare things better. If it's always the same seed, then I can pinpoint whatever changes there are to specific parts of the prompts or the parameters. Normally, Midjourney just assigns a random number that you can look up if you wish. You don't have to use the same seed number as I have, unless you want to generate exactly the same images I have or something really close to it. Dash Dash Style Raw sets the raw mode on. We don't currently have any other styles for Midjourney V6, so that's it. And all of these experiments have been made with the Midjourney version 6.0, which I have set with Dash Dash V parameter. For this video I chose the subjects, Night, Palace, Pineapple and Rabbit. That's about it for the explanations, let's see the styles. Batik. A technique of wax resist dyeing applied to whole cloth. It's a traditional method of producing colored designs on textiles by dyeing them, having first applied wax to the parts to be left undyed. It looks like it's best applied on knights and rabbits where you can see some of the ornate textiles. Pineapple has some colorfulness, but not exactly the pattern of batik. And Palace is mostly generating images of possibly Indonesian architecture where this technique originates. Raw style on its own is stacking the textiles on display. In that sense, the default style generated better images with just the style name. The raw style images look stylistically similar to default style. The knights have possibly more Indonesian influences to them. And pineapple is just I guess the pattern on a cloth. Rabbits look really awesome and unique with this texture. Calligraphy. The art of producing decorative handwriting or lettering with a pen or brush. It's often considered an artistic expression of written language. This one produces some really interesting combinations with all the subjects. Well, except pineapples. The knights and rabbits look especially awesome. I like the scribbly effect on the images. For some reason the raw style is more inclined towards Chinese calligraphy. In some ways it comes through with the raw images as well. Pineapples still just get the ink part from calligraphy in some of the images, but Palace has complete Chinese influences and some of the rabbits have some Chinese looking characters in there. Collage an art form in which various materials such as photographs, pieces of paper, or fabric are arranged and stuck to a backing. This style certainly does some crazy, colorful and pieced together stuff. Even pineapples are partly altered by this style. Palaces are pretty much unrecognizable. And there is flowers everywhere, even one of the knights is wearing a flower pattern skirt. Raw style seems interesting as well, not that much different from the default style just on its own. But in combination with the subjects, there is less flowers than default style had. Pineapples don't really represent the style that well. And palaces even have some parts that are actually reminiscent of architecture. Coloring page. A type of page featuring line art for a user to add color using crayons, 
colored pencils, marker pens, paint, or other artistic media. I think somebody mentioned about coloring pages under one of my videos that they tend to have unintended shading. The style is definitely visible in all of the images and I do see some shading as well. I would again recommend trying out some of the negatives in the prompts, like adding no shading to the prompt with or without the dashes, but with the dashes I think it works better. Raw style has some shading as well and some unintended image with coloring pencils. The style is still there. For some reason the palaces are really intricate and have lots of tiny details as do knights that also have some areas colored totally black. I feel like there is less shading with the raw style, but again, negative prompting may help to reduce it even more. Embroidery texture, the art or process of forming decorative designs with hand or machine needlework on fabric. This one does some really fascinating stuff and it seems to appear quite strongly on all the subjects in most of the images. Although I have to mention that palaces are not really represented there and have been replaced by just flowery embroidery. I also really like the knights because they look almost 3D. Raw style on its own looks really similar to default style and brings in lots of flowery designs. And for some reason, I feel like the style is less strongly appearing with raw style. Rabbits are the best. Knights just have embroidered clothes instead of the knights being totally embroidered as a pattern. Palaces are kind of missing the point, and there is only one pineapple that looks to be embroidered. Flat vector design. A style of graphic design that uses simple, two-dimensional elements and bright colors. It often emphasizes simplicity and is characterized by the absence of three-dimensional or realistic perspectives. And this one really alters all of the images. Granted, the palaces seem to look more like castles, but the rest of the subjects look great in my opinion. The palaces look great too, but they're castles. Raw style on its own has a similar look to default style. Maybe more practical and corporate perhaps, and Midjourney seems to still like the orange and teal color scheme so much. And there isn't many differences with the raw style images of the subjects. The style is nicely applied on all of them. And palaces look more like castles. Colors are really similar as well. I wonder when we will get better controls for colors in Midjourney. Lithograph. A printing process that involves using a stone, lithographic limestone, or a metal plate with a smooth surface to apply inked designs to paper. I really like this kind of style, it's a bit gritty, but at the same time very detailed with limited colors. The knights and rabbits look especially epic, and these may be some of my favorite pineapples so far. Palaces seem to have some surprising surrealism influences. Raw style this time has done a total 180 and shows us pictures of the process of lithography printing. But the subject images for raw style still look pretty great. A few errors here and there, especially the knight that has their helmet or suit on backwards. Palaces seem to lose the style completely this time though. Macrame, a form of textile produced using knotting rather than weaving or knitting techniques. It's often used for decorative wall hangings or plant hangers. And this one has done some really interesting things in combination with subjects. Especially the knights are such an interesting surprise. Although some of it looks like it's knitted, it's still really cool. Raw style on its own looks pretty simple and just examples or close-ups of various things created with this technique, but mixed with a subject, we still do get some really interesting looking images. They are not always actually made with the technique, but the knights again, look really awesome. Primitivism, an art style that mimics the qualities of art created by non-professional or indigenous artists, often characterized by a bold, abstract, and simplistic style. This one is not as strong as other styles have been, but there are still some interesting looks here. There also seems to be more variety, except with the pineapples on yellow backgrounds. I guess rabbits have the best examples of what this style is supposed to look like. Raw style is actually looking like it's supposed to, 
meaning it's primitive looking. But that has some struggles being translated to subjects as well. There seem to be a few images that are improved by this style, but it's not very consistent. Pineapples are not altered at all with this style. Pyrography, the art or technique of decorating wood or other materials with burn marks made by the controlled application of a heated object such as a poker. I absolutely love this style. And it seems to appear very consistently with all of the subjects. Although the palace images look cool, I don't really see many palaces there. But pineapples have adopted the style very well this time. Raw style on its own seems to again go the route of depicting the process of pyrography. Or something that Midjourney thinks it is. I have actually no idea. But with raw style, we actually get some palaces as well, that look like wood carvings though, now that I look at them more closely. But the rest of the subjects look great. I also like how with the rabbits, the imperfections in the wood surface are incorporated as parts of the images. Resin. Art made using resin, a solid or highly viscous substance that can be molded or used as a medium for various artistic purposes, often noted for its clear, glass-like finish. This single word makes the subjects look like figurines or sculptures. The material may not exactly be resin and it seems to be painted over in most of the images, but it's still a really interesting look and effect on the prompt. Raw style on its own seems to do almost abstract colorful swirls and bubbles, almost like resin that has just been poured and is not dried yet. But adding a subject again goes the route of figurines or sculptures. The palaces look again more like castles, but man are they intricate and detailed. For once, the pineapples may actually look the most like they were made of resin. At least to me, who has absolutely no idea what something made of resin is supposed to look like. Stained glass. Glass that has been colored by adding metallic salts during its manufacture. It is often used in the form of windows, where pieces of colored glass are arranged in intricate designs and held together with lead strips. Another request from one of you. What do knights look like as stained glass, because they looked awesome as mosaic. I think I like the pineapples and rabbits more for this one. Raw style stained glass looks pretty much the same as default style did just on its own. And raw style doesn't really bring that many improvements. It tends to give us images of stained glass windows. Maybe a change in the prompt is in order, and we might get some different looking stuff if we were to prompt that the subject is made of stained glass. Stencil. A thin sheet of material, such as paper, plastic or metal, with a design or letters cut out of it, used to produce the design on an underlying surface by applying pigment through the cut-out holes in the material. The knights look absolutely epic with this style. It kind of reminds me the cursed style we had back in version 4. Palaces don't really look anything like palaces though. The raw style kind of brings in walls and it pretty much looks like street art, which may very well be one really popular place where stencils are often used. There is no big changes compared to the default style in my opinion. The style looks pretty much the same as it did for the default style. Only Palace seems to have walls now, but for some reason, it doesn't go very well with this style. Vintage Advertisement Card A small, usually rectangular piece of card or thick paper printed with a commercial advertisement, often from a past era, known for their nostalgic and aesthetic value. Really intricate and obviously vintage looking imagery with a hint of being worn. I actually just noticed that there is the identical looking worn spot in each of the image grids in exactly the same location. Can you see it too? Look closely at each first image of each grid. Raw style doesn't seem to change style much compared to the default style. But although the images look stylistically similar to default style, the aged or worn spot is gone with the raw style. And I really do like that this style is so consistently applied to all of the subjects. Even the colors look a little bit worn. Woodblock Tiki. A style of art involving carving designs or figures, 
often representing tiki culture, into wood blocks, traditionally used in Polynesian cultures. It may also refer to prints made from such carvings. And the last style in our list brings some tiki-inspired images for all subjects. The rabbits look hilarious. And the style is really strongly represented everywhere. Even the pineapples have not been untouched by this style. They look great. Raw style on its own seems to bring in more realism and less of the woodblock print part in half of the images. And it's somewhat visible for the subject images as well. Some of the figures look like they are kind of painted on wood instead of using the woodblock printing technique. But nevertheless, it looks really unique. All right, those were the styles this time. I hope you found some cool styles to inspire you in your prompting journey. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this selection of styles and if anything really stood out for you. I will continue experimenting with all kinds of words and things that really make an impact on the look of the images that come out of Midjourney. And you can also use these to experiment with other AI image generators as well. Some of these styles may already be ones that I have already gone through at some point, but they are worth revisiting because Midjourney's version 6 behaves totally differently. I would like you to consider subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of content, and I also appreciate all the likes and comments I get. Thank you so much for watching and let's continue prompting.